Hey everyone, this should be a pretty quick one, as long as I skip all of the install and download process waiting. I'm mainly making this video for people wanting to use Face Fusion in Pinocchio. However, the process is exactly the same, regardless of your Pinocchio use intentions. The only difference will be which applications you decide to install into Pinocchio after it is successfully installed. The first thing you'll need to do is download the Pinocchio software in order to install it. To do that, go to the Pinocchio website at pinocchio.computer. Once there, hit the download button in the center on the left. You'll be brought to a page that has installs for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Find your respective operating system and click on the download button. Mac actually has two options depending on your hardware. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac, known currently as an M1, M2, or M3, download that one. Otherwise, if you have an older Mac with an Intel processor, download that one. All you have to do now is go to where downloads go on your computer. For Windows users, you will get a zip file that you need to open, and then an executable installer file from that. Run the installer. If you get a warning because the software was downloaded from the web, just click More Info, and then Run Anyway. For Mac, you will instead have a disk image file, or a DMG. Open that, and you'll be presented with another window. Simply drag the Pinocchio app to the Applications folder icon. Now very important, make sure you run the patch command file. To do that, right click or control click and select Open. You may be presented with a warning window about not being able to verify the developer. Go ahead anyway and hit Open. It will then open up Terminal and run a command automatically and ask you for your computer's password. Type that in. You will not see anything happening though, and then hit enter. Once that's done, you can quit terminal. For Linux users, you can download the install directly from a GitHub repository. I'm just going to assume that you know how to do all of this, and most likely are wondering why you're watching this video anyway. So now that Pinocchio is installed, go ahead and open it up. You'll be presented with a couple of quick settings. Where do you want the home folder of Pinocchio to reside on your computer? and whether you want the correct dark theme or the help my eyes are bleeding light theme. Do realize with picking the home folder, there are some AI applications that use models that can take up a ton of space, some at the far extreme being over 100 gigabytes, but mostly between one and 10 gigs. But this can add up quickly, so make sure your home directory has plenty of space. But more importantly, make sure it's on fast storage, some sort of SSD or solid state drive. Once you have those settings selected, hit save. You'll be presented with your blank home page as you have nothing yet installed. So you can choose from the button in the middle or the discover button at the top to find the app or apps you'd like to install. Here you can scroll down through the long list of options or type in part of the name of the app you know you want and it should hopefully find what you're specifically looking for, just as I did here for Face Fusion. Then just click anywhere in the box to open the information page of that app. You'll be presented with another window that may have a bit more information, but you can just hit download to start the process. Another window will pop up stating any dependencies that are needed for the application you selected and let you know what is and isn't already installed. So these are what I still need for this FaceFusion install. Hit install now. That process took 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Now hitting OK. A Save As window will pop up asking what you want to save the Face Fusion Pinocchio Git as. Why? I don't know. But just hit download. Now the basic source files have been downloaded and they now need to be installed, along with whatever other dependencies it may find it needs. So click on the Install button towards the top left. It apparently found another required dependency on top of the others previously installed, so hit install once again to install Homebrew. That took roughly 30 seconds. Now hit OK once again. This will start the actual Face Fusion installation process. Two minutes and 20 seconds later, the installation is complete, or is it? Go ahead and hit done. Now you have quite a few more options on the left hand side. 
Launch default will be the main one you use, but you have the option to do a benchmark test, which will test your system to see how it performs, and you can compare it to others on the Discord server, link below. You also have the option to use your webcam for face fusion. Otherwise, you also get the update button, which is convenient for when there are new updates to face fusion. But let's launch face fusion by hitting the launch default button and see if everything is working. And see, I told you it wasn't finished. The first time you run face fusion, there will be other required models that are downloaded in order for it to run. It goes pretty quickly though, if you have a decent connection. I get a max of 35 megabytes, not megabits per second. So it's not wonderful, but it goes fast enough. And that took just over a minute. And with any time you run the app, once you see the line running on local URL with the following address, that means the app is now running. You can also verify this by looking at the server default option on the left and see the spinning arrows. If you wanted to, you could run this the old Pinocchio way and open the URL in a separate web browser. Or you can do it the new better way by just clicking open session on the left and it will open Face Fusion inside of Pinocchio. And there it is, Face Fusion in all of its glory. All there is to do now is a quick test to make sure it works. Well, quick from your point of view, that is. This isn't a Face Fusion tutorial, so I'm just going to skip through this. If you want to know more about using Face Fusion, I have many videos on the subject. I'll have links in the description below. In order to see the actual progress of your render while in Pinocchio, just click on the server default button on the left. Click back on open session to see the Face Fusion interface again. Feel free to go back and forth as much as you want. So let's see how that turned out. Do it! Just do it! When you're ready to quit an application inside of Pinocchio, once again, go to the server default and then hit the stop button that should appear above. At this point, you can quit Pinocchio or you can go to your homepage to look at or use any of the other applications you already have installed. Or click on the discover icon to find another application that you might want to try out. There are quite a few and more are always being added. You can thank Cocktail Peanut for that one. So thanks for checking out this video. As always, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and maybe even leave a comment below about what you liked or didn't or maybe what you'd like me to make a video about. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.